Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mactronic Questions and today what I want to do is have a look at an application on the Mac which is probably underappreciated and underused. Well, this is a Preview and let's show you a couple of tricks that you can do with it that's going to make it a little bit more interesting. I mean, you can do the sort of things that you know that you can do with it anyway such as selecting text and highlighting it, that's pretty standard. Or you can put an underline into things so that's uh, fairly useful for things, so let's underline that there. And all you gotta do is select the tool that you want, so use that one there to put a, a strike through on it. And I can just select it like that and it puts the strike through through there. And I can even change the colour of the strike through if I want to as well. So let's have an orange one through that. So what can we do that's a bit more interesting? Well, let's put a signature into our document first of all. So let's click on this one here and click on manage signatures or create signature from FaceTime HD camera built in. So click on that there. And you can see that at the bottom here we've got my lovely face looking at the screen there. And all I've got to do is hold up a signature to the screen like this. This is not my signature by the way, this is uh, something else. That's Okay, so it's recognised the signature there. I didn't press any buttons for it to do that. It just kind of recognised it. And if I don't like actually what I've got there, what I can do is I can hold it up again and try again. So you can see that it's moving a little bit each time until I get it just the way I want it look. So I can bring it further away and it's doing a better job of it. So when you get it on the line there, it kind of recognises the signature. So I can click on Accept. And there you go, you can see we've got a signature now in this area of signatures. You can have more signatures on there as well as if you want to. So if you want to use a signature for nefarious purposes, well, that's one way of doing it, I suppose. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our document and put a signature in there. So we're just going to click on this here, choose the signature that we want to use, click on that one, and just put it in there. I did that with a click and drag using my trackpad. How about that? Now what's kind of nice about this signature is the fact that's what we can do with it. Once we've got it in there, we can put it wherever we like. So, for instance, we might want to put it there. Now, you'll notice one good thing about this is that the background of this is clear or invisible. So you can put it where you like and it's not going to cover up everything around it. So you can still see your lines there. So if it's on some lined paper, that's going to work out quite nicely. Or you could even put it across the top of a photograph and still see the photograph that's behind it. OK, so let's just move our signature over to one side there, and that's uh, something fairly handy that we can now do with Preview. So what else can we do with this? Let's go for this tool here. We can choose text to put in there, but we can do different sorts of text. We can have a thought bubble. Let's have a thought bubble just in there. We can choose the colour of it, of course, so let's choose to have it in black. And we can start putting some text in there. Or I could have a speech bubble in there if I wanted to either. So let's go for a speech bubble this time instead. And this time we'll have the speech bubble coming up there. Hello Mac 20Q viewers. So there we go, we've got speech bubbles and we've got thought bubbles and we can now do signatures as well. You didn't know you could do that with Preview now, did you? So this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and a couple of little tips there for using and getting the best out of the Preview application on your Mac. An application that you knew you had there and didn't realise quite how useful it was. So while you're here, why don't you click on the like button on the Mac 20Q video to help me promote the videos on YouTube. And also, why don't you subscribe so that anytime there's a new video out, you'll be the first to know about it. Bye-bye now. <laughs>